Welcome to the Conquest Challenger series. This is the third and final game. If you want to watch games 1 and 2, you can check them earlier on in the channel. But for this game, the deciding match, it's my Angmar going up against Henry's Minas Tirith. Let's get into this battle. For the third and final game, uh, to decide Jacob and I's challenge against each other, uh, we'll be playing Gondor versus Angmar. Uh, I've been, I'm going to be bringing Madril, uh, some warriors and some rangers, some knights, uh, Damrod, some sit guard and some warriors, and then Baragon mounted uh, with some more warriors. Today I'm going to be playing my Angmar army. This is themed around Golfenbull's attack on the Shire. So I've got Golfenbull on a Wag and a Wag Chieftain as my two heroes. The Wag Chieftain has some strange anti-synergy rules that makes it pretty tricky to use, but I've found it to be super powerful. I just recently used this army at a tournament and came third place, so I'm feeling pretty good with it. I've also got three Spectres, a Horde of Orcs, and some Wags. Uh, this should be an interesting game. I think we've both got high model armies for the points level that we're playing at. Uh, it's just going to be a slog and uh, see who has the best, uh, best ground game. And today we're playing in the ruins of the City of Men again for our deciding game. The scenario is to the death, so we're just going to get stuck in and kill each other. Let's get straight into it. I want the roll off to deploy first and I'm going to go with Golfenbull's Warband. So I'm sending him in the middle but I'm putting his spectres, at least one of them up on the building and one of them just behind him so they've got a good line of sight of the battlefield and then it's orcs uh, just lining up ready for battle. So Henry's dropped his first he warband also. down in the ruins in the back so I'm going to have to go to him but he's got better shooting so that was going to, always going to happen. On the other flank, I'm putting my Wild Wild Chieftain's Warband. This Warband is super fast, so I'm happy for them to be further back, because I'll be able to close distance quicker. And it means that their Orcs can complete my shield wall. Henry's next Warband going down next to those Citadel Guard Archers. Cool. Clear line. Cool. Done. All right. And this is the board after deployment. This looks like a classic front and back deployment. I'm just going to run straight forward. Let's do it. Good luck. Turn one priority went to Angmar. So this Spectre is going to go forward four inches, which gets him within 12 inches of that man of man's tooth. And I'm going to make him take a carriage test. Eight is good. You've passed. So my last two inches movement, I'm just going to stand in there to be a bit safer. And the wall of orcs runs forwards. Another spectre roll was passed. Golfing Wool just heads behind his lines, followed by the last spectre, who doesn't look like he's within range there. So, oh, that's all right. Finally, my wags are just going to be going around starting to work up that flank. In Henry's move, all he did was shimmy these knights around just to get them around the sides and get ready to counter against those wags. Alright, so really spreading out across the board there. Cool, alright, my shooting? Yep, go for it, I've got none this turn. Four shots at Gold Fimble, I'll take another. I'll just shoot these first. So I think, what do they hit on? Sit guard? Citadel so guard will hit on fours, I believe. One hit. That's a bit unlucky. Hits front rank. Nothing. That's my shooting. Uh, three shots here. So three rangers. Yep, and Mandrill shooting at golf Himble. First in the ways. So One hits the front row. Second rank. It just goes through, up or down. Oh, goes be up, nothing. hits Gotham Ball, and fails to win really? the Gotham Ball. <laughs> uh, so on the second rank, nothing. All right. Uh, could you just point a mark to kill a guy? Um, no, it's not worth it. Cool, that'll go to priority. Oh, Baragon, sorry. Baragon, all right. Baragon shooting at Golfing Ball, hits. Hits front rank. 
kills front rank. So you've killed one orc, take out whichever one you want. Uh, it will probably end up being that guy, logically. Yep, perfect. Next turn priority went to Henry, so his move. You gonna do anything? No, I'm probably okay. Uh, I'm gonna move these guys up to here, three inches to there. There, so I understand that Spectre's there, but I've got a five inch move. So stance, so uh, I have a six inch move. On Golf Imble? On Golf Imble, yes. That's kind of cool, why is it only six inches? Oh, sorry, on his wag he's got a ten inch move. Okay, well there we go. Wait, what are you talking about, five inches? Because I don't want you to Spectre me into range of... Spectre's move are your full. <sighs> They're good. Fuck. Yeah. Um... That would be cool if Golf was five inches, cause, or six inches, because so, so fat on the fatty weighs it down. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sick. Uh, look, they're going to sit back there. Alright, so pulling back, just staying safe. Oh, look, you can still actually charge me. Yeah, pull back in here. Alright, so you're worried about the Spectre pulling you forward and Golf Mall getting you. Actually, if you can't see me, you can't Spectre me, can can't you? Can't see you, can't Spectre you. That's fine, all then. Alright, is that it? That's it. Cool, so that goes to my move. And in my move, I started by just advancing my lines. Now, for those of you who don't know what Spectres do, they make the enemy take a Courage Test, one enemy model. If that enemy model fails that Courage Test, I get to move it its full distance. This is really, really helpful for me controlling the positioning in this game. I'm going to take this Spectre and I'm going to take a Courage Test on your hero there. Four, he's gone. Henry knew that if Baragon got taken away by that Spectre, the Wild Wild Chieftain was going to be able to get him and kill him, so he spent a point of will to pass that test instead. And these Orcs will also run up. Now we've got another Spectre, who's going to go up 6 inches, and then he's going to make Madril take a Courage test. He's good. He's very good. And finally, I've got one more Spectre who's going to make one more Warrior take a Courage Test. So I'll make this Spectre who's hidden in there. Uh, we'll make this guy take a Courage Test. He's gone. Failed. Uh, can you just move him straight forward six inches? Which one? This one? Yep. And he is a snack for golfing ball. And finally, all my wags, they're gonna run forwards. Uh, these shots, uh, I'll take them at guys without shields, so him and him. Yep. All hit. I'll roll two first of all, just to kill them both. Killed one? Yep. No, killed one. Alright, do you want to take, was that the uh, archer? About the two ass, uh, the two knives at the front, because I said, uh, yeah, I said guys without shields. Nice. Uh, three shots and medrill will go again, guys yep. without um, thingamajigs. All hit. Three wounds. Three. Uh, strength two on the... Uh, Strength two if they're firing at guys without shields, that'll a five will do it. Oh yeah, so that's three dead. So one, two. Uh, is there another one that's without a shield? Not in that area. So oh, actually, there's, there's him. So you would have targeted him. Yep. So cool. one. Yeah, he's got a clear line of sight on him. Two, three. Wow, brutal start. Baragon, shooting at your banner that I assume you wanted in base contact. Yes, should be in base contact there. Cool. Uh, I'll take it at the spectre behind the guy. Yep. Six hit. Goes through. Nothing. Alright. Wow. Oh, fucking hell, man. That hurt. Um, that'll go straight into the combat phase. Yep. So uh, I'll shield. I've got a golf and ball. I'm on a four. I'm on a four. Uh, I'm fight three. You're fight three. Yep. You've got priority. Give me the roll off. That's one. Alright. So golf and ball. Just backed up. He's the least intimidating hero. Yeah, possible. I probably shouldn't have been as afraid of him. Uh, priority. Well, let's do it. I'm on a three. I'm on a six. All right, Smart. Um, no. Oh, maybe. No, I will not use my okay. shield wall. Is pushing forwards. Just not really want what a group of orcs wants to crash into right now. Especially not a wounded group of orcs. Citadel guard are running away. Classic Gondorians. 
fleeing, Aye. fleeing battles. I've seen the movies. I know what you guys do. Henry's move was very interesting. He's formed up a line, and my small rabble of orcs is going to need to do something about that. To start out, this spectre who's in this building is going to make this knight take a courage test. He's good. He's good. That's very unfortunate. And to finish, that spectre is just going to move back a bit. Alright, next up, down here, we'll have this spectre, and I'm going to make this warrior take the courage test. He's good. That is unfortunate. And that spectre finishes his move by peeling a guy off golf and ball, and then taking a spear support. Now my next spectre... That's my next trick. <laughs> ...is going to make... We'll make Damrod <coughs> take a courage test. He's gone. So you failed it. He's a coward. He is You're a coward. Right. Absolute wimp. Can you just send him six inches as close towards my wild bug chieftain as he could possibly get? Five inches, five inches there. Yum. He's going to get fucked up. And my wild bug chieftain charges in. It's like, Debra, no, around. where are you going? Get back in the foxhole. <laughs> <laughs> and the pack of wogs descends on him. Now my orcs, honestly, are not that sure what to do. So they're just going to come back and form up. Which might seem strange, but I think I've got a plan here. Actually, you know what? At least a few of them are going to stay so the golf ball doesn't get hopelessly trapped. Fuck it. They're all going this way. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing. With no shooting from Henry, that goes into my into the combat phase. I have to decide if I want to call a heroic here. I think I do, because if I kill Damrod, I can go in and take on those knights next. So, heroic combat from the Wag Chieftain. I'm gonna roll my dice. I've got a six. You got it. And the Wag Chieftain is a higher fight. And the Wag Chieftain does one wound on his first round of strikes, and no wounds on his second round of strikes. And then the botch, three wags. Botch, botch, get it. Not a botch here. Yep. And now my heroic is going to take me into the knights. He's going to charge and wrap. Here. And then we're charging in. Here. In. And charging in. Here. All right. So we're starting out with one of the knights fighting my wag chieftain. I'm on a six. I'm on a five. Oh, one, two, and a one. One v one. kill. Three, two, three. Oh, you. No lands. Oh, that's no gone. Two v one. I've got a six. Two. And can you back up there? So what? So you've put your. Oh, I don't think I've moved anything. Did you mean to put him a little bit further out? I definitely had intended to, yeah. but if he's not, that's alright. I think you would have had the move to get him in there. I think I definitely had the space to. Yeah. I got him three times. Nice. So, which fight's up next? Uh, we're going to go 2v2. Yep, alright, the Spectre will be the white dice. What fight are you? I'm fight 3 because of the orc. Well, I'm fight 3 too. So, uh, I'll stab. I'm on a 6. They're on two ones. And the white dice is the spectre. And a five from the orc is not enough, so you're totally fine. That's Baragon. Baragon fighting golf and ball. One. So I've got a five, so I've won that. What's your defense? Six. Oh, terrible rolling all around. All right, priority. Six. I want a four. Here on six goes to you. Um, Wow, now I'm not too sure what to do here. I will call a heroic with golf and ball. Cool. Uh, I'll call it with Baragon. All right. You want to do anything else? Nope, that's all from me. Ah, right. four, five, six, it's me. Let's see it. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Which dice was that? Oh, it was this one, it was the two. Oh, you can nice. roll it if you want, but... Uh... All right, well, I'll take it. Sure. So, Golf and Bull has to move first, and he's going to charge into Barragond. Fair enough. 
I need to see if I can get an orc to that knight. I cannot. So this orc is going to run to the staircase. Fair enough. Next, my spectre will make this guy take a courage test. Five. Uh, courage four. No, courage no, no. four. So you have failed. Uh, wasn't expecting to get that far. Um, he's just going to go and stand in Madril's way. Sure. And then the spectre will finish just standing next to Golfer Ball. Mm -hmm. We'll have Orc stand next to him, the spear support both of them. And Orc stand there, spear behind him, and these two Orcs just wrapping around. Just, just been a battle of <sighs> forming up and... That's it, just spinning around these spear walls. So that ah. goes to your move. So Henry is re-engaging those wags. This time he gets the charge bonus though. Charge into there. This knight is going to charge down into him. Uh, he's going to charge into the two of them. That ghost will cause terror. After it. Uh, I have to charge him, don't I? He loves it. You're fine. So, just dressing the line, getting more attacks on golf and ball. More attacks on See if coast. I can get this guy to attack up. Eight, he likes it. So, pretty good courage from Gondor. So, at the end of Henry's move, he's got a thin line of troops and one blob fighting the wags and one blob fighting us here. I'm going to use this spectre in, when it goes back to my move. I'm just going to make that spearman just there take a courage test. Which one, sir? Uh, just this one supporting Madril's friend. Six. Uh, he's good, I think. I oh, know, courage three up to four. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, finally, this spectre in here will just come to the edge here and make this spearman take a courage test. He's good. Nice. Alright, and my two wags charged in. This is the board before combat. Henry, do you have any heroics to call? Uh, nah. Neither do I. So let's get into it. Where would you like to start? Uh, let's start up on the flank here with the charge. First fight, my orc got knocked prone but managed to survive against that knight. Oh, and we're knocking models all over the place here. Um, and the next fight is Golfenball. And, and he's going up against. Looks like a lot of guys. So Berigrond, two warriors, and then two spear supports. So stabbing on the red. I'm sitting on a five from my roll. Sixes and fives. Nothing I can do about that. So you can strike blows against me. Do you want to go for me or my wag? I'll go for the wag on the spear support. That's a dead wag. It's a dead wag. That is another kill too. Yep, that's a point for Lords of Battle. Yep. Uh, so golfing ball. No. Uh, two stabbing. Stabbed. Real ones. Nope. nope. And then uh, Baragond against him. What defense mm -hmm. is he? Uh, defensive five. Okay, Maybe no, six. Uh, I could use put him up, but I won't. Alright, so I've lost my wagon and push back. Throw a rider. I'm all good. See. My spectre managed to kill a warrior of Gondor, and then Madril took down one of my orcs. And... That knight just won a fight and killed a wag, and these two wags in the middle just push back their opponents. Finally, it's my chieftain. I'm on a six, so I've won the fight, and I've done three wounds to my opponent. Good thing it's just a suit old guy. Good thing. So priority next turn went to Henry. I chose not to call anything, and he's just engaging my wags down the far side. Able to go in for free against that chieftain. And the lines are clashing. Henry is engaging everyone, taking terror checks to charge those ghosts. And what's going to happen to Golfing Bull in there? So Baragon's going to charge him again. Yep, Battle of the Heroes. He's going to charge him. He's going to charge him. Uh, he's going to spear support him as well. Nice. Alright, 
so this spectre on top looks down at a spear support. The one spear supporting against Golfenball. He's good. He's good. And then my second spectre is going to take away that spear support just there. He's good. All right. Unfortunate. So that goes into the combats. Uh, I'm not going to be declaring anything. Are you going to be declaring anything? Uh, um, what do we got? We got Baragon there. We got Madril into one guy, I guess. Nah, that's probably not. Uh, yeah, because you can't regain above your starting level, can you? Correct. You cannot. So you, you regain one spent previously in the battle. Well, I might as well call it a combat then. Alright, so combat from Baragon against Golfing Ball. Nice. Oh, he's already used his mind. Doesn't matter. Ah, perfect. Alright, where do you want to start? Let's go with uh, Golfing Ball. I'm on a five. Uh, I've got a point charge, of charge. Stabbed. White. Is the spear support. Let's see it. Sixes. I can't do anything about that, so I just have to hope I survive here. Cool. I'll do two spear supports first because I doubt that I'll kill you. Nope. Nothing. Stabbed. How you rolling? Alright. Nothing. Straight four. From Baragon. Needing fives. One wound. One wound. Alright. Uh, Golfenball has the best named special rule in the game, Impressive Girth. Every time he suffers a wound on a 5-up, it's ignored. Oh, it's not impressively girthy today. My one orc won against the Charging Knight and just stood up, and then Henry has just killed my Spectre. Alright, the next fight, you've got Madril fighting one orc with a spear, and one is the band is going to uh, spear support. Is it my priority? Uh, I believe so. I'm going to put Madril against those two. Alright, so two orcs. I've got a three. A two. Alright. Uh, I'm going to use point of mine up to. Hang on, I haven't used my. I'll roll for the banner who has minus one, so he's on a five. I'll do my banner re roll as well, so I'm on a five. Not Nothing you can do about that. You can just roll. And that's one wound against Madril. Uh, fat save. Ah, uh, no, I might as well keep not you. Doesn't matter in this scenario. And Henry just won this fight and managed to kill both of my orcs. That really hurts. Yeah, that's a bit silly. Alright, next we've got Wag fighting a warrior of Minas Tirith. I'm on a four. One. And a one, I won't kill him. We'll do the next one as well. I'm on a three. Five. Goes to you. No wind, I didn't sail Nothing. stabbing. Nothing, so they're being nice and friendly there. And Henry took down one of my wags. Now the next wags against the Charging Knight. I've got a three. Not stabbing. Got a five. Uh, that goes to you. I don't know why I rolled, but that goes to you. Doesn't uh, kill him. I Triple one. Yeah. Uh, knock down. Knock down, roll again. Got him. Gets him. You're gonna take that wag out for me. All right, and finally, we've got the Wild Wag Chieftain. Three attacks. Oh no. I've got uh, a three no, high. Red. At six. Oh no, that's very disappointing. I'm defense five. I might be dead in there. So needing fours? Uh, fours from the knight. Yep. yep. Fives from those guys. That's three wounds. I'll take my one fate. I've passed my fate. I've got one wound left. Uh, didn't stab. Strength four. He's oh. dead. Devastating. Take out that wild chieftain for me. That has broken Angmas. This might be the last turn of the game. It will randomly end at the end. Or potentially could randomly end at the end of this turn. Let's roll priority. As in, this turn just started. Four. Four as well? Your goes priority. to me. Uh, I will probably use one um, mad rule just to sort of mop up. Yep. I'm concerned that this challenge might be slipping away from me after I started so well in the first game. Alright, uh, I will call one with golf as well. Your golf nimble's out. I'm out of my all together. Yep. Uh, and. Your roll off. Let's see it. One, two, three goes to me. Goes to you. Oh, uh, that's not what I needed. No, it isn't. Might just be cleanup time over here. Let's see if I can do anything to pull this back. I've still got my impressive girth special rule, so even if you kill me, you're not as girthy. <laughs> and it's well and truly just swamping the remaining orcs. No, this isn't what was supposed to happen at all. Uh, and there's nothing down here, so I'll move them. Nothing down there. There is still hope, so I've got. Most of my remaining army concentrated, and even though I'm broken, my spectres, who I have around the edges, are Courage 6, so they won't be going anywhere. My two spectres have passed their Courage test, so he is going to make 
This spear support fighting against Golfenball, take a courage deck. He's good. You've passed, and then my next Spectre is going to make just one of these spear supports. That spear supportman there, take a courage test. I just want to peel attacks off, but you've got that. Anyway, wow. You've gotten really good courage all around. Yeah, as soon as I saw that six as well, I knew that was good. Yeah, exactly. So let's go into the combats. Yep. Um, Alrighty, well, let's start with this knight here on the flank. Knight on the flank, and he's against just an orc. Off shield, you've got the six. I've got a three, goes to you. Can you kill me? Look. Go Bang. Alright, devastating. Uh, let's do golf Fimble. Correct. Do him first let's do it. Yeah, cool. Come on, golf and ball. Stabbing on the green. Oh, double six is golf and ball. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh, no mind on him. That's yours. Nice. Well, I just stand up. That's what happens when you're impressively girthy. Well, that was pretty girthy. Yeah. Uh, Madril against two. Uh, yep. They'll fight it. I'm on a five. Uh, point of might. Then I'll win that uh, fight four. Before you do that point of might, I'll do my banner reroll. Yep, goes to you. Uh, yep, just roll on second. Get kills. Got one. Gets one. Takes him down. Uh, no, I wouldn't. He's down to one now. Alright, looks like I've got a banner there. Yep, two guys. Uh, I'll stab on them both. Yep. Oh, I'll six down to a one, five. I'll Calling it one. cocked. I'm on a five. You're on a five as well. Yeah. Do no, the roll. Uh, yep. Uh, that's mine. Yep. All right. Can you kill the banner? Yep. Stabbed. Killed him. Uh, Kills him. Did... Can he back up into his friend? Yeah, he can. Perfect. All right. Uh, down here, two charging knights. Two against one wag. Uh, he's got some friends there too. You got a six. I've got a two. I got the fight four in there too. Can you get the kill? Uh, Fast, four with yeah, the four lance, that will do it. Alright, and there's another wild. Uh Stab. I'm on a five. You win. Hey, and... Oh, another one. He's won three fights in a row, followed by ones. Random game length. Does the game end? Yes, ah, well it done. does. Well, Henry, you played well. I will shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. And Henry, how does it feel? You've won the first Challenger miniseries. There is, there is nothing like a miniseries uh, three-part victory. That's it. Started off a bit grim. I was a bit worried when the Dwarves didn't get up because I feel like out of the three games that we've played, that Dwarves v. Moria game was probably the big main one given the fact that the next 500-point game was a fellowship matchup uh, in difficult circumstances. But look, I'll, I'll take it for what it's worth. Uh, yeah, fun games all around though. Perfect, awesome. Well, this means you'll have to be invited to the next Conquest Champions League, so you better keep your practice going. Ah, uh, you know I will. You know I will. Alright, thanks for coming on.